a very important issue for the community here over the last 10 or 20 years is how we can get access to the best types of facilities to allow Ireland to remain in the forefront of astronomical research internationally. This is a very important issue for astronomers here in Cork and for astronomers all over the island of Ireland. And it's become clear to all of us that the only way to do that is for Ireland to join the best observatory in the world, which is widely regarded as the European Southern Observatory with, with its facilities in Chile. ESO will give Ireland access to not only the best optical and infrared telescopes in the world, but also radio telescopes and even telescopes potentially that could observe some of the highest energy radiation that we could see from any kind of objects in the universe. A lot of the technology being developed by ESO involves an age-old problem that has plagued astronomers, and that is the issue we have with the effect of the Earth's atmosphere on the light from stars. The light from stars in distant galaxies will pass through space for thousands or millions of years without being affected or deviated from its path until it meets the atmosphere of the Earth. When it passes through the atmosphere, because of turbulence and variability in the upper atmosphere, the light from stars is deviated, it's refracted, and as a result, the images become blurred when they're taken here from the ground. This, for example, is something you often see by just looking at stars twinkling in the night sky. And although twinkling of stars looks very romantic, in fact, for astronomers, it is a plague and they would wish these stars would stop their twinkling and give us much better images. It is actually very difficult to stop this twinkling of stars in the atmosphere using telescopes for several reasons. One of the main ones being that it happens so quickly um, on timescales of much less than a second. However, several clever techniques have been developed recently which have proved very successful in stopping the twinkling of stars. Probably the most uh, successful of them all involves using a, a laser beam sent up into the atmosphere that creates an artificial star very near the star of interest. And because this artificial star is relatively bright, the effect of the Earth's atmosphere on its image can be measured very accurately. And as a result, we can compensate for the twinkling of the bright star and correct for the twinkling in the nearby target star of interest too. And this can have a very dramatic effect on the image of the star, producing images with a resolution comparable or sometimes even better than what can be obtained from the Hubble Space Telescope. And if you could uh, make an image of these stars from your telescope, they would appear to be very close to your target star of interest. But in fact, they're just generated um, by exciting sodium atoms in the upper atmosphere. The scientific benefits and the economic and technological benefits of Irish membership of ESO will at least be complementary to the annual running costs of membership. Access to ESO will be complementary to the next generation of space telescopes and other ground-based facilities. And foremost amongst them is the radio network called LOFAR, which Ireland has recently joined. And the Irish station of LOFAR will be um, located quite appropriately um, in Burr, very near where the Burr Leviathan can still be seen today. UCC is part of the consortium involved in building the LOFAR station and LOFAR, in combination with eventual ESO membership, will ensure that Irish astronomy will be healthy for the next hundred years. <laughs>